Okay, this is take three of the planet Jupiter at an insane magnification of over 1400 power. It's about 1460 power, I believe. We're running digital zoom on the camera. It's called extended teleconverter mode in Panasonic parlance. It's a Panasonic GH3 camera, by the way. Settings are 150 to the second shutter. ISO is uh, 1600. We got some serious detail on the planet right now. You got a, several cloud valves. The northern equatorial is the darker brown one, and the southern equatorial is the fainter one below the center. To the far right on that dimmer, fainter belt, you see a reddish orangish blob. That would be the great red spot, the largest storm in the uh, solar system. It's roughly the size of Earth, I think, and uh, it's visible today. Telescopes and astrophysics 155 millimeter aperture F7 telescope. <coughs> We've got a 2.7x Barlow, 10 millimeter eyepiece, and a GH3 camera with a 40 millimeter lens on it looking through that eyepiece afocally. And uh, it's an extended teleconverter mode. Boy, that's looking pretty steady right now. Since she's on the meridian, that's about as probably sharp as it's going to get tonight. That's not looking bad. We're shooting this from a suburb of Los Angeles, California. And it's just around midnight. Jupiter's about on the uh, meridian, so it's about as high as it's going to get in the sky. It's a week away from opposition, so it's pretty close to Earth right now. It's February 1st, I guess. It was January 31st, 2015. And uh, pretty good detail. Some bluish structures just up to the bottom edge of that more prominent cloud belt. And you can almost see, uh, see some banding in the northern hemisphere, about the southern hemisphere. So that's not bad for 1400 plus power in a 6.1 inch aperture telescope. Astrophysics, way to go, baby. This telescope's over 10 years old and it's still cutting the mustard, I'd say. So uh, I'll have to compare this to the video I took last year or the year before with a different scope, but that's not too bad, not too shabby right now obscene magnification of over 1400 power. Okay, the planet Jupiter with its cloud belts and a little bit of atmospheric percolation. Okay, that's going to be a wrap.